I reset my brain again and watched uh, Halloween 2018 Kills and Ends. It's refreshing to just act like those are the only ones made for the night. It changes things watching 78 Kills and Ends. I agree. I agree, JC. And here's, guys, here's a little experiment that I would like you to do, all right? And it might, it might make you appreciate ends a little bit more. It might soften the wound for those that hate it. I'm not saying you're going to like it, okay? I'm not trying to say that, but it might, it might soften the wound, all right? I apologize for the smacking. I might even clip this out, this little portion right here, okay? Because I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell you guys maybe a good way. Because, and the reason I'm saying this, I'm not trying to get people to like the movie. I'm just saying the number one reason people don't like ends is because of it's different. It's like too different. And I agree with you. As a part of a David Gordon Green trilogy, I agree with you. I think maybe there should have been a different movie there. But the movie that they did put there that shouldn't have been there, I fucking loved. Okay. That, that's the predicament that I'm in right now, people, okay? And I don't know what to do with myself, all right? But I did an experiment because I was thinking, what if I did this? Would this even make it better? I think some of you know what I'm going to say. What am I going to say, all right? Um, watch 78 and Halloween Ends. Skip 2018, skip Kills. Just watch those two movies together. Act like Michael Myers only exists in one movie. Well, and, and, and ends, of course. But I think you will kind of appreciate, and maybe appreciate the wrong word, but I think you will kind of understand the intention of Myers in ends if you just watch 78 before it. Are there some plot holes that might be there? And I'm trying to think, are there? Maybe? I don't know. Um... She, yeah, I guess there would be because at the beginning and she does talk about the events of uh, slightly of kills in 2018. But that's just like right at the very, very beginning. So if you were to do like a fan edit, you could actually cut that portion out and just talk about it being, you know, 40 years later or 40, however many years later. And um, I think it make it can make ends e even better if it's possible, you know. That would be my suggestion to you guys. Try it. Just try it. I think you might like it better that way. But I will say this. When I watched the trilogy together, uh, 2018 kills and ends all together, even that way I actually enjoy ends more. Even though, you know, so many people have a problem with ends being so different. But if you really look at all three movies, 2018 is pretty much David Gordon Green making his John Carpenter movie. Okay, it's it's um, I wouldn't say it's a copy of the first movie, but it's a continuation of the first movie. It's the very definition of a requel. Okay, Kills is not 2018. It, I think it's quite different, actually, and it introduces an element that has it ever been introduced in the franchise. Uh, the the element of chaos and the entire town. They they have introduced it a little bit in four when he had the lynch mob coming after Myers. But that was really small. This was like and the entire town went crazy, went nuts. Um, my point being, Kills is a very different film, I think, than 2018. Okay? Even though it takes place on the same night. And Ends kind of shifts things around a bit. And I think it makes sense given that it takes place... Guys, is it three years after Kills? The events of Kills in 2018, it's either three or four. I think it may be four. But after four years, things would settle. And I always heard this big complaint about Lori Strode and her approach to Michael. Uh, to just kind of, um, you know, uh, push him away. He doesn't exist anymore. It's a thought process. And I've heard some people say there's no way that that would ever happen. But... From a therapeutic and from a psychological standpoint, that is an actual technique that therapists use on clients. If, if, one, um, if one idea doesn't work, then uh, they, they, you know, they, they, this doesn't work, doesn't work, so we got to try something completely different, okay? I tried to build this freaking fortress to, uh, to fight against him. 
He still came back. It didn't work. I can't do that again, right? It, it, it would be redundant, and it could make matters even worse. So what do I do? He's gone. I'm not giving him power anymore. That is an actual uh, technique that therapists use. Take away their power. Hell, freaking Nancy does it at the end of uh, Nightmare, you know? Is it, the, is it the smartest move? I guess that's debatable, but... If it gives the person peace of mind, then, I mean, I think it's a good thing. And what did we learn out of that? I like Scream 6. I have a good time with it, okay? Hell, I didn't even talk about the Crazy Baileys that much. That whole thing was ridiculous, okay? Do I really even need it? I mean, I've talked about the Crazy Baileys quite a bit in the past anyway. But, uh... I, I mean, there's where suspension of disbelief for, for him to get away with all that is quite ridiculous. Okay. We're not dealing with, and I know on Halloween, you can throw stuff at Myers, but Myers is, a, my opinion, a supernatural being. He's, we, I think he, he's proved it. He's done things that uh, mere mortals can't do. Okay. Scream is not that type of world. Scream is human based. Okay. And for Bailey to pull off this extravagant um, scheme, game plan, um, no way in hell. There's no way in hell. Did I still have a good time with it? I guess. But it's definitely one of the worst killer reveals out of the franchise. You know, Scream, you know Scream's credit, guys, too. And, and I guess I do like Scream quite a bit, all right? That I think a lot of the scripts are pretty clever and interesting. And maybe maybe the lesson here after the reveal in Scream 6 is to maybe get it back to basics a little bit. Um, and I used to think, let's bring Stu back. But I don't know if, if I want that now because it might complicate things even more, right? So, I don't know, but uh, the the, the uh, killer reveals in the movies, you know, all the way up to Scream 4, I really dug. I think Jill is a highly underrated um, final killer. I loved what Emma Roberts did with that character, okay? I think there was just too many killers, and they kind of canceled each other out, you know? What's up, guys? You are at the end of the DD Live clip. Uh... What I do is I like to clip these out if I think the, the topic is important or something that's newsworthy. So thank you for watching. And uh, if you want to watch more, you can you can go over here. You can go over here. Click on one of those. And uh, yeah, in, uh, hopefully I can do this for 20 seconds, which I think I did. Okay, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.